Hey guys, it's Dave, and tonight we're going to go through some over-the-counter recommendations for cough and cold. It's getting to be that time of year again. In fact, today we had a little bit of flurries in the air, not quite snow. So I want to give you some recommendations for some products, especially because right now it is hard to keep on the shelf cold and flu products in general. We have so much that's back ordered out there, and there, but there still are several options for you. First off, for little ones, I want you to know it's not recommended for little kids anymore under the age of six to do anything like the Triaminics, the Dimataps, uh, or the Robitussin Children's because in the past there has been some overdoses that have occurred. So if you have any questions, if you have somebody under that age, make sure you refer it to your provider or pediatrician. It's not that you can't use those meds, it's that you need to have the correct dosage for those meds. So keep that in mind. If you have a little one though, Zarbies is always a good choice. Remember not to use the honey one if they're there under the age of two though. But Zarbies is also right now hard to get a hold of, so if you find it, you may want to stock up a little bit on that. Now for adults, the first question that I always ask is, do you have high blood pressure? The reason is, anything with Sudafed in it, or dextromethorphan, or phenylephrine, and read your ingredients. Phenylephrine is PE on the product, Dextromethorphan is DM, so Robitussin DM, Mucinex DM, Tussin DM. All those products can elevate your blood pressure. If you're well controlled, you may see just a couple of points, but why take the chance if we have alternatives? So if you have high blood pressure, the first one that I always go to is a Coracid and HBP, and they have two or three different types that you can use depending on your sim symptoms and there is a generic available. And they also now have a couple of other ones like the NyQuil which also has an HPV version, HBP version which is for high blood pressure. That has been a little tough to get a hold of but it's a liquid. Some people have trouble taking liquids. It doesn't taste real good either. If you have just a cough, I've said this before in a TikTok, guaifenesin has been around a long time. There are a lot of studies out there that say it doesn't do you much good, better than a sugar pill. But I'm here to tell you I have seen results with that. So with it just a cough, Robitussin or Tussin in a liquid will do the trick. Or if you have trouble with the liquid, you can use Mucinex or the generic and be just fine. Remember with Mucinex, Robitussin, you need to drink a lot of water because it helps to clear that garbage out of your lungs. If you're taking the pill, not drinking the water, it's gonna sit there, do a little good, not near as much as if you're drinking a lot of water. Along the same lines in the morning, if you're waking up and you're feeling that kind of crud, have a hot glass of coffee or if you have high blood pressure and you can't take coffee, green tea mixed with a little honey. That will naturally do the same thing to help open up those bronchial tubes. The coffee especially is good because the caffeine acts like a drug that's behind the counter called theophylline to open up those bronchial tubes. Some other options that you have that is good if you don't have the high blood pressure. Delsum which also has a generic. It now is in a grape flavor as well as an orange flavor. That is good if you just have a cough. That's my probably my number one go-to cough suppressant over the counter as I go with that one. Now we're getting into the multi-symptom thing when you have a runny nose and a cough and body aches and possibly some congestion. Again, I, the Sudafed you need a prescription or you have to have uh, show your driver's license in most states to get that. But remember, don't use Sudafed if you have the high blood pressure. But I like going to the Tylenol cough and cold. And this one has been tough to get again. There's about three or four different types. 
based on your symptoms, go with what you have there, go with what's available. I always try and recommend the generic because there is a difference in price anywhere from a couple dollars all the way up to ten dollars. So really look at that when you're dealing with that. And again, you have uh, the sinus, which has the PE, the phenylephrine. That is good is for your congestion. So if you're having a runny nose with congestion or maybe a cough with congestion, look at something that says sinus on it and go with that as long as you don't have high blood pressure. Now, remember, as far as if you have flu-like symptoms, number one, if it lasts for more than a couple of days, do go in, check it out with your provider. You wanna make sure if you have COVID, you're not out and about spreading it. If you have the flu, the best thing for you to do is to be staying at home for you and your coworkers, your friends. You don't wanna spread that around. But Theraflu is a product that is out there that is a good standard, my old standby as far as over the counter. There are several versions and they even have K-Pods now where you can get that to uh, put in your, your like coffee mug and use that if it's available because those have been tough to get. And then there is a homeopathic that some people say, nah, it doesn't do any good. I have seen it work on many occasions and it's oscillonium. You take it for about three days. Doesn't hurt you a bit. There's no drug interactions with it and the cost on it's not too bad. It's less, generally less than about 15, 16 bucks. And whether you're having a severe cold, little bit of touch of the flu, which I say that because so many people come in and say, I got the flu. Well, what do you have? Maybe it's the flu. Maybe it's another virus. There are so many viruses going around this time of year. So even though you think it's the flu, it may not be. That may give you a little bit of help there. Remember to take your vitamin C and vitamin D. Vitamin C, 500 milligrams once a day. Vitamin D, if you're feeling crappy, I recommend 5,000 units a day for at least till you get feeling better and then drop back to 1,000 to 2,000 units a day just to keep your immune system up. As far as other natural products, zinc is really the only one that's shown to help shorten the length of the cold. Do 50 milligrams once a day, take it with food, don't do it long term because it can basically burn your taste buds where you can lose your taste bud sensation. Last thing I'm gonna tell you is it's still early enough you may be experiencing allergies. In that situation, if you get a runny nose, runny eyes, a cough that really goes away by about noon, it's probably allergy related. If that's the case, check out our YouTube video on allergies or our TikTok on allergies to get some recommendations for what you can do there.